Hey there, continuing on our trend of crypto cloud mining setups, we are going to visit AWS mining today. So since this is the first visit, we're going to look over their website. I'm going to tell you about my experience. I'm going to tell you my thoughts, pros and cons, and we'll take it from there. So this is their base website awsmining.com and they have a pretty simple set setup to get going you sign up you choose your pan pay for it and you start receiving bitcoin so sign up choose your plan profit all right so they deal off of what instead of using uh Mega hash, giga hash, tera hash. They use CMP, crypto mining power, which is a fairly vague term, but that's okay because it, it averages out and it kind of makes sense. For $40 US, you can get 0.1 CMP, and this is where I invested originally. And they do have more options than these, so don't be intimidated that you have to jump from 40 to 400. You can actually hit a middle block of like 80 in between the two. Um, you just need to get into the website to do it. Uh, they say that 4,000 is their most popular. I bet it is. So they do a lot of things with your investment. They're very not specific about hardware, what they have, what they've got, but it's a profitability based contract, not a raw mining contract. So you get a lot of statistics, total transparency, no hidden fees. You don't have to factor in electricity and costs because you've already taken care of that. Uh, what you're mining for and what you're contributing for is to double the profit that you, pot, you bought over time. So basically you're just renting space and gaining some in return to a degree based on what you put in. And there's a calculator at the top that we'll go into. And AWS has their mining farms and whatnot video, and that works. And they do handle a lot of the questions down here that you have to deal with. And the most important ones are how can I pay? but they only accept Bitcoin as payment. So if you don't have a way to get Bitcoin, you can't get more Bitcoin back. Uh, I'd recommend Coinbase. If you're just starting out, Coinbase is like the gateway drug of buying Bitcoins. There's a lot of fees. Um, if you already have a way, then that's awesome. But if you don't, Coinbase is a good way to get into it. Just realize that you pay quite a bit to get coins from Coinbase itself. Now you can go to GDAX or I guess it's called Coinbase Pro now and purchase them through a bank transfer for very minimal fees but uh, that's a little bit more advanced but if you do need a way to purchase some Bitcoins, Coinbase.com definitely uh, better than any of the other ones that I've looked at because uh, Recently, I had to uh, change out my bank card with Coinbase, and they reset my limits back down to the minimum. And I wanted to invest $1,000, and I only had $100 I could spend because uh, I still got to wait 60 days or whatever to get my, my balance back up to 1000 or higher. So that was not really fun. And I looked at some other places and one place was uh, when Bitcoin was down around 5,000 was uh, charging you out at Bitcoin at about 6,500. So you were paying a significant fund in, amount in and not getting nearly anything back out of it. Uh, compared to those other places, Coinbase's fees were minimal. But this isn't a video about Coinbase. So this is a video about AWS mining. So what's the contract length? Uh, AWS offers two types of contracts. Profitability-based contracts, which means that it will last until the amount of mined equals 200% calculated on the amount paid in US dollars 
for the mining contract, excluding the maintenance fee. In lifetime-based contracts, there's no time limit for mining. Your earnings will last as long as they're profitable. So you do have some options and choices. Um, I believe this is the one where you have to use a certain wallet to be paid out. And AWS, I believe, was started in Australia. So they're very open about what they what they have and what they get. Uh, where is it? Let me go over the don't publish their pools. Mining farms are located other places. They don't tell you where. Europe, America, and Asia. Uh, do, 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 reinvest. Maybe not. They kind of give you a brief idea where some of their data centers are located. So that is the basic page. Um, I think the rest of it just goes down here to go to the calculator. So we'll go to the calculator. So value in CMP equals crypto mining power. So let's say you had $40 to invest. You're going to get 0.1 crypto mining power. You're going to get $40 invested. And you're going to walk in with a daily estimate of about 29.56 Satoshi's return, a uh, monthly of 88.673 Satoshi's. And that is kind of irrelevant because. If you're not looking at the base value and you're doing profitability mining, you're going to come up with different figures. Let's go to the frequently asked questions. Oh, it's just this page. Unhelpful. All right, so let's actually look at our account. The account is actually kind of confusing. It's not as straightforward as some of the other ones. Uh, first page you'll come to is the mining groups, and you'll see the mining multi-coin mining profitability plan that I am subscribed to and my plan runs 2nd of June 2018 to open so you can track your gross and your net there's 20% maintenance fee which is better than a fixed flat rate maintenance fee especially in a down market and wisely they mine Bitcoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Litecoin. So if Bitcoin's difficulty is too high and loan value is too low, they can switch to, to BCC, mine that, and then convert it to Bitcoin because it has a lower difficulty and even a higher relative value to the difficulty. So they, they kind of give you some options. You can also move down to multi-calling, mining profitability, and only mine Bitcoin and Bitcoin Cash. Or Bitcoin and Ethereum, you just pick your pool, but they're out, they're out of stock on a lot of these. So uh, they even have one for Monero, Zcash, and Ethereum. I am in this one right here, which hits all the ones that I want, but your payments are Bitcoin anyway. So, I mean, if you're not really concerned about specifically what you're mining because you're not going to see it, then this is a good one to go with because it doesn't matter. All right, so we got mining, you got mining plans. And this would be where you place your order. So like I said, if you have more than $40, but less than 400, you can just click it up to 0 0.02, pay in $80. And it looks like it goes up in $40 increments. So you can go all the way up. I think 10 is, this. I uh, can't do dumb input numbers. I tried that before, but you can keep going. And it goes up a ways. I forget how high it goes, but it's worth looking into. I think 10 is as high as it goes and it caps out. No, it doesn't. It goes higher. I'm okay with that. It's just I can't remember where it maxed out.
anyway, it would take a lot to get one Bitcoin a day. Let's just say that. All right, but here's the base plan. Pays out 21 cents a day, $6.40 a month. And that pays out until you get to $80. And then the contract ends. Fair enough. We'll look at our mining pa group panel and you can go look at my contracts. And you can see my contract earnings. This is where it becomes more clear. Uh, that's 3%, 3.14% earnings performance. Uh, my trading bot is doing significantly better than this, but that's okay. It's meant to. So amount paid in 40, contract cap is 80. ROI, so far we're at 251, 3.14% weight through our ROI. Um, I think with this one, what I would do is I would just keep reinvesting it. So when I get to 40 and reinvest it, and then I would have $80 invested, which would take me to 160 total. Well, not really, because it would take out some of the money that you reinvested. In the end, you would basically double your contract cap every time you reinvest it. So rather quickly, you would actually ramp up your total investment. Not incredibly quickly it does require some patience but you can see the accumulated gross and then there's an accumulated fee and then there's accumulated net and it tells you what each of those are you can see your mining power or we're way down here in the bottom but we are in fact getting that day I started on July 14th I think and it was a little bit light it was the 9th Okay, so for some reason on the 14th, I got 20 cents instead of 21. But every day, I've gotten 21 cents except for one day. So that is a solid option. For $40 in, you get 21 cents a day back. So if you put 80 in, you get 42 cents a day. I think if you put... If we were to put 400 in, you would get $2.10 a day, and you would wind up at $800 fairly quickly. So let's see what else we got. Go down to office. Customers is the, I'm not really sure what that is, probably the uh, referrals. Network, you can look at pending registrations, all this stuff. This would be the uh, God. I'm having trouble with words today. The uh, referral page account would give you your account summary, which is a quick way of saying, you know, I've got this much, this much available for activation. This is how much I made. Team bonus, mining bonus, and you can view specifics on everything right there. So office, account, uh, did we do statement? Anyway, just a quick way of saying, as you can see, every day, 21 cents up to 249. Got a USD withdraw. Okay, so this is the tricky part, the only tricky part about AWS mining. In order to do your withdraw, you have to get a MyCoin deal wallet. It's not a horrible thing. It's just how they process their transactions. It's like NiceHash pays into Coinbase at a very no fee level. This is kind of the same thing. So it's not unheard of for places to specify a wallet. They get a special deal sometimes, they get less fees, they get all kinds of benefits from you having a wallet with their company. My coin deal has just done an update, I didn't see what they were updating, but you do have to have a My coin deal wallet. And all you have to do is go to mycoindeal.com and register. It's easy, it's simple, 
and you deposit your coins into there and then you can send them to Exodus, you can send them to uh, Coinbase or Coinbase Pro, you can send them to any exchange, you can do whatever you want to do with them. But putting them here to get them out of AWS's mining site. I don't intend to do any withdrawals for a very long time, so pretty much plan on reinvesting everything. So unless I have to take it out to redeposit it, this is pretty much just going to sit here and I'm not taking anything out of it. I've uh, got wallet, voucher, bonus, and the bonus is, uh, I believe, a purchasable amount you can pay into. No, it's just. Oh, excuse me, how much you've gotten? Voucher. Probably discount coupons. I have none. I haven't been with them for that long, and that's okay. But this pretty much walks you through the process of what they're doing. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and share this spreadsheet probably in the next video since when I finally have some data in there. But I just wanted to show you, as you can see, consistent payments. This place has good reviews. I don't see anything wrong with it. It's not promising you the moon. It just tells you that if you, they, you, you invest your money long enough, you'll get twice your money back. Honestly, that's the same as any other investment, um, except it's more guaranteed. Now... There may be periods where you're not making enough money to make a difference, so you wouldn't gain anything, but that just prolongs how long it takes for you to get your money back. But if you've got $40 to spare, you've got $40 to send them, then you'll get $80 back from that $40. And then you can put that back in and get $160 out of that $80. Technically, you could turn $40 into millions of dollars if you had enough patience and enough time and you started when you were two. But um, actually, that's not a bad idea. Start a, you have a new kid, throw 40 bucks in there, keep reinvesting it. By the time they get out of high school, they should have a good sum of money if the company's still around in 18 years. The world of crypto moves pretty fast. You don't know. You kind of have to keep an eye on it. It wouldn't be something you would want to idle out. But I, I honestly think that's not a horrible thing to do, especially in a profitability-based mining situation where you put money in <clears throat> they pay you out based on two times the value of what you put in. Well, I'm probably going to get $40 in the long It's going to take me a long time. Let's find out how long it is going to take me. Uh, about 190 days. That's okay, you know. I mean, I got 40 bucks in there, 190 days. Every 190 days, I can reinvest half of it and get another share started. That adds up pretty fast. I mean, just do the math. It's not horrible. So I'm going to put a link to the description, a link in the description down below on how to get to AWS Mining. I'm going to put my uh, referral ID in there, and like I always say. If you want to sign up and this video help lead you to something that you thought was interesting, you can feel free to use my referral link to sign up. No pressure. If you just want to check it out and you don't feel comfortable using referral links, I'm okay with that. I make these videos to show you ways that I am currently invested in the, the profits and losses, good and bad, of what I see from using the platform. Um, I don't do this to pick up referrals. I don't do this for any other reason than to say, hey, I'm doing this. Your results may completely vary, but this is the results that I'm getting from it. If that impresses you and you want to sign up, sign up. If it doesn't, you're informed that you are not a fan of AWS mining. And that's okay. Now, if you do web searches on this, just be aware that there was a kind of underground mining scene that went on that uses Amazon Web Services. Uh, so when you do a search, you're going to see a lot of people that have a lot of bad things to say about AWS Mining, realizing that it's not the same company. AWS Mining and most of the negatives, I've actually looked into them, and those 
speculations and, and, and comments were towards using Amazon Web Services as a crypto miner. So if you see a bad review, read the review before you just strike it down as being bad. Uh, my experience has not been bad. My experience has actually been pretty good. The website's been up. The wallet was easy to get. Signing up was easy. Uh, I took 40 bucks in Bitcoin off the exchange and threw it in there. And an instant later, it started to go. Uh, this has to be one of the more profitable, without being outrageously promising, investments that, uh, that I've got. Other than the self-mining and something I'm going to cover later in the week, it's also fairly guaranteed. Um, as long as it progresses like this, you probably are going to make 21 cents a day for a $40 investment until you get to $80. And if you don't miss the $80, reinvest it and get 160 Because if you double it, you get twice the money. So you can't really complain about that because... 160 doubles into 320. 320 doubles into 640. 640 doubles into uh, 1280. I mean, once you reach $1,000 and you're doubling $1,000, is that a bad thing? I don't think so. Uh, you know, because when you start doubling $1,000, it pretty quickly gets into doubling tens of thousands of dollars. It doesn't take long to get up to that point or through that point. Now, what I had considered and proposed as an idea for this was with a $40 minimum, I had considered investing $40 a week or every two weeks into this uh, as a f automatic deduction from my Bitcoin pool to just throw over here every couple of weeks and uh, see how it goes. I'm not really 100% confident I want to start automatically transferring Bitcoin or automatically pulling funds in the case I don't have any bitcoins to do it that day it would automatically pull the money out of my bank account and I don't really like when it does that so setting up auto transfers is a little bit shaky I don't like that so I don't want to do that not just yet I also don't want to commit transferring bitcoins out of my exchange to here until I get a little bit better feeling for what's going on and I see how things are working so far everything's fine so far everything was fine with hash flare but uh as we can see hash flares disabled contracts and walked away with thousands of dollars from people they might not look at it that way but on uh, june 5th they put a big sale out and uh hooked a bunch of people to buy contracts and then five days later they canceled buying contracts and a month after that they uh terminated all the contracts so we'll see but uh i'd say in about two months i should have a good idea whether this company is good enough to start doing seriously regular inputs into it uh, i just want to see if it continues the trend over the course of another month of 21 cents a day so i mean 21 cents a day save my life that'd be like six bucks a month that i'd be getting which i think i said before uh if in august i go all the month of august and i get another six dollars or i get a full six dollars for going the month of august i think it'll be a fair investment and in then september i can start doing these 40 dollar jumps every week I, I think if you put 40 dollars into it every week that's um I should have just left the calculator open. That's about $4,200 you've invested. Well, it's about $2,000 you've invested, so that's about $4,000 you're going to get back out of it. So just think of it that way. For $40 a week, for a year, you can walk out of that with a few grand. Uh, it sounds like a pretty good idea to me. That's kind of what I hoped World Mining was going to be, and that's also kind of what I hoped um, Hashflare was going to be, but neither of those seem to work out. So, 
anyway, this video has gone on long enough. I'm going to go ahead and stop this, but this was the introduction and the uh, pros and cons, and, and th I knew this one was going to be longer. Now, I'm not telling you up front that you should go invest in this. I'm not telling you you shouldn't. Uh, what I'm saying and what I say in every single investment situation is do your research. Find out if this is right for you. See how you feel about it. If you have a bad feeling about a project, don't get involved in it. It doesn't matter if everybody jumps on it and says this is the best thing. If it doesn't appeal to you or you don't have a good feeling about it, don't get into it. I didn't get into BitConnect because I didn't have a good feeling about it. Everybody was telling me how great it was. I had nothing to do with it because I just didn't believe it. I didn't buy the hype. I didn't drink the Kool-Aid. And I'm glad I didn't. But a lot of people did. And a lot of people thought it was the best thing. But I just didn't have a good feeling about it. So I avoided it. Uh, I, I had an indifferent feeling to AWS when I started. And I found it as a search looking for other cloud mining sites and looking at their ratings and histories and reviews. And, and this one came up as being highly recommended. And I understand why. The, the cons, uh, I guess I'd have to say a confusing website. It's not entirely intuitive. It's going to take you a couple of visits and a couple of days to get used to it. And uh, the other con is that their minimum buy-in is $40 and their minimum investment is $40. If you wanted to invest something less at any point, say I want to invest my, reinvest my $2.51. I don't have the option to do that. I have to wait until I get $40. Or I have to send $40. I can't combine them. So I can't send $38 and then reinvest that. I have to send $40 and then wait until I get $40 before I can reinvest it. They do have a tiered system where you get, I think, maybe I'm thinking, I'm thinking of something else. So ignore that. Ignore that. It's the only two cons I can think of. Uh, and they, you have to use their wallet. Well, not their wallet. You have to use the wallet they up, approve. Uh, I consider that a pro and a con. Uh, it never hurts to have a, another wallet, especially one that you're just going to keep one coin that's your fluid and you're fluctuating with all the time. Uh, I like to keep my stuff in cold storage, pulled it off of Exodus, which is where it ends up eventually, and then it ends up on a, a in a locker, in a vault, but I don't mind having a second wallet, especially for investments, because if I have a second wallet for investments and something's wrong with Exodus, it's not going to auto transfer to Exodus. Well, I got a better option that if this is their wallet, they're going to say, hey, we're not transferring this wallet because it's having problems. We're holding everything for a couple of days. Um, that works better for me because when it does work or has, comes out of maintenance or whatever it is, they can send anything remaining over. And then I can transfer it to Exodus, and I know going through it that everything's solid, uh, rather than just dumping into my other wallet and uh, forgetting about it. So, pro and a con. Con, you've got to get the wallet. That's about it. And that, that's about all I can think to say about AWS. I have one more cloud mining site that we're going to visit tomorrow. And then I've got some other things I'm going to cover that are completely different that are also going to be interesting if you're interested in crypto. Uh, I am going to continue to post some updates on AWS, but I mean, it's a pretty static withdrawal or a pretty static payout rate. So I don't think I'm going to do weekly. I'll just do occasional. So maybe once a month, we'll talk about what we're getting because so it's not going up very fast and I'm not going to do any, re I'm not going to do any further investment until September beginning of September so uh, maybe I'll do an, uh, an update in August and we'll see how it goes but uh, I'm probably not going to do an update once a week probably once a month for now and uh, on that note I will catch you guys later uh, like I said check the description for more info links to the site uh, I got my referral link down there if you want to sign up and give it a run uh, kind of like to hear comments on this uh, I know uh, Hashflare and World Mining got negative comments on a lot of my videos. I understand that. Uh, those were experiments to either prove or disprove some of the, the rumors that were going around. And I think I proved 
the rumors that were going around about Ash Flare. Uh, not myself. I'm not taking credit for that. I'm just saying I think my documentation of it has shown exactly how sketchy those guys could be. Uh, the world mining. I think I've shown the trend that they're pulling right now. Uh, I think these pages do help. Uh, so like I said, I'm going to start sharing this probably after the next video. The spreadsheet. I'm going to keep maintaining it every day and uh, I'll see you guys back with AWS maybe beginning of August. So check it out. Use the referral link if you feel like it. Don't if you don't want to. Don't really care. And uh, either way, I, I just like showing you guys what I'm doing. Anyway, that's it for now. See you later.